Hey, it's Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. I'm Peter and I'm in Peter's kitchen. I'm going to use the crock pot to make a chuck roast. Sit back, relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Let me show you the chuck roast. I got a camera just for you right here. This is the chuck roast, okay? This is a grass-fed, grass-finished, one-pound chuck roast. And I'm gonna cook it slow cooker. I'm using the instant pot pressure cooker, but I'm going to use the slow cooker. Okay, so I just turned it on. And let's go to the camera so I can show you. Uh, this is the instant pot right here. Okay, so it's off. And now I use a number of different settings. This is the instant pot pro. So the instant pot pro uh, is one of the models, but there's a bunch of different ones. Okay. So this time I'm using slow cook and slow cook is interesting because I'm going to push the button on slow cook. Now this is, I'm going to use it like a crock pot. And when I use it like a crock pot, it's not the same as if I'm pressure cooking. So I do have some numbers here. So I want to get a pencil and a paper. Otherwise you're going to have to come back and watch this over and over. So get a pencil and a paper real quick. All right. And I'm going to, uh, give you some numbers that you're going to want if you want to use your instant pot like a crock pot. Okay, so a crock pot or the slow cooker. I got one of those. Okay, you put something on for 6, 10, 12 hours. You come back and it's done. Okay, so now how do you use the instant pot like a crock pot? All right, let me give you some numbers. You got a number of different models out there. So you're going to need to know how to get around in your model. All right. So this is the Instant Pot Pro, and I already have it selected for slow cook. Now, let me turn the camera back on over here. So let me show you. Okay, so for slow cook, I have a choice of high and low, just by turning this dial back and forth. Okay, high and low. Now, some of you guys have uh, a different choice. You've got low, normal, and high. I've got high and low, okay? So this one doesn't have the lowest setting. It's got the low and the high, where some of you have um, a low, normal, and high. Okay, now that's important. You see it blinking there? And then if I push this again on high, I get to push the amount of time, which I want six hours. I put it on six and a half hours. Now then I will press start on this one to kick it off, all right? On a lot of the ones that you have, you just don't touch it and it'll automatically just go right in and start after a period of time. So I'm going to push start. So I've already started this one off. It's just a matter of different, different strokes for different folks. Different ones have different Instant Pot models and some of you don't even have Instant Pot. You might have Ninja or you might have uh, the Cooking Pro XL, okay? So unique to this one and probably probably they're all on the same base, but get yourself one of these so you can actually t uh, check temperatures. All right, so those of you that got three, one, two, three, low, normal, high. Did you get your paper and your pencil? Okay, low is about 100 and, and 180 to 190 degrees. So low is between 180 and 190. Normal is between 190 and 200 degrees. And that's what I've got here. And then high is between 200 and 210. So I set myself to high. So it's going to be between 200 and 210 degrees. Now I'm off to crock potting. Just know one more little thing, okay? And that is your crock pot or your slow cooker is a little higher than the high on here, which is 200 to 210, all right? It's about 230 to 240. So you're going to need to add a little bit of time. So I wanted, I wanted to cook my chuck roast for about four or five hours, so I moved it up to six hours. So the crock pot mode or the slow cook is not for zippity doo da zoom zoom zoom, okay? So another hour or two is, that's part of life for crock potting, okay? So that's the information. Now I can get into doing the, uh, the chuck roast. So let me show you my chuck roast, which is right here. Uh, let me zoom in on that a little bit. So this is a one pound chuck roast, okay? And uh, I, yesterday I took it out of the wrapping and I salted it and 
I peppered it. Okay. There you go. So that's, I did that already. So I'm doing that part for show. I don't need to double, uh, double do that. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to take this and put it into my pressure cooker, which is right here. But don't forget, I have it on the slow mode, uh, the slow cook mode. So it's got a trivet in there, but you can use the trivet or you don't have to. I use it because it's easier to pull the meat out. Okay, it's got two handles and then I can come in here when I'm done and pull it straight out. whoopity doo da. Okay, so that's really cool. Now, if you don't have a trivet, I wouldn't put the meat right on the bottom. I would give it a layer of onions and I'm going to do that now anyway. Okay, so I put a little layer of onions and that'll keep it uh, off the bottom. And then I'm going to take the meat. Okay, and chuck roast is a tough meat. So I'm going to find the fattiest part and put that facing up. And oh my God, we are done. You're looking at the meat sitting in the crock pot now. I'm rinsing off my hands because I touched raw meat. I'm rinsing it off in the sink. Give me a break. Got to wash my hands. All right, let's come back over to Peter. Okay, so now the crock pot is running. Let's just double check. Okay. The, uh, the crock pot is running. I did turn it a little bit. Sorry, guys. All right. So uh, I'm counting on six hours and the chuck roast uh, should be done and it's on high. If it isn't done, I'm going to come back and add another hour to an hour and a half. That's not a sin. There's no uh, slow cooking police. So you're not going to get in trouble uh, if it isn't fork ready. I like Let's get a fork out of here. I like to hit my chuck roast and the fork goes right in. Divide it, cut it up with a fork, uh, no knife. All right, so the six and a half hours. You can put the top on and close it, okay? When you do that, all right, you want to keep it in the venting mode, all right? But there's another way, all right? Take the top off, put it in the little handle where it belongs. Get yourself a regular uh, cooking cap like you would normally have for one of your pots. Find one that fits perfectly. That one fits perfectly and I'm done. So let's come back in six and a half hours and you'll see I either failed or I won. <laughs> so would you believe me if I say it's actually 10 hours later? I put it on for six hours. And just like the lady at Instant Pot told me that it's going to take three to four hours, I'm sorry, two to three hours to get it up to heat. So I did take it out at the six hour mark. No, it was not ready. So now we're going to open this up now. Okay, so let's open this up. Remember, I did not have the pressure on. So that's what it looks like in there. And let me see if this is too hot for my fingers. Oh, just about. Ouch. <laughs> I have the pot holders here so I could pull it out, but it was getting hotter as I was coming to the plate. So let's take it off the plate. Now, the point is, I know this is a, one of the toughest cuts of meat, but let's see, let's see what this really actually looks like. All right, so now we're going to find the moment of truth. I'm going to cut this and see if this is going to pull apart or if it's going to be tough as nails. No, nope. that part is still too tough. It's going to go in longer. This part right here. This sucker falls apart. doesn't even need a knife. It just comes apart just like that. Okay. So let's cut this part up. Oh, look at that. That's actually gorgeous. It even still has some little red in there. Okay. So let's go over here. Let's do a taste test. Well, first we'll do a heat. Oh my goodness. Melt in your mouth. 
juicy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dissect this. Let's go back over to this camera. So this whole entire section right here is like fall apart ready. And this whole section right here is falling apart ready. So I'm going to take these two sections and put them on a plate over here. And this section is still way too tough. But I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to put it straight into the Instant Pot. I'm going to let it finish the other two hours while I sleep because this will go over to hold warm. And when, if I get up to go to the bathroom or something, then we will actually, uh, we, I will check it. You'll be sleeping. So out of a one pound, I, I guess I got three quarters of it that is fork tender, it just falls apart just stabs right in uh, into the fork. One third of it did not. So this is my first foray into the slow cooking part of the Instant Pot. I wouldn't call it a win and I wouldn't call it a fail. Um, I'll put it in the description below uh, how it turns out after I let it run for the other two and a half hours. And that is our Chuck Roast Steak. So that's what happens if you want to use the Instant Pot as a crock pot. A little disappointment, a little victory. Taste-wise, I have no complaints. And I did salt it the night before, so it's the regular correct way to do meat. So Peter Gregg with a, the, a little victory and a little defeat there, but we still have, it's not a lost cause. We still have uh, a little more that we can let this thing run in here. All right, Peter Gregg, Peter's Kitchen. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Wish. You have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching.